We're inspired by women who have restarted their lives using health and fitness. We hope you are too. I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. And I'm Tracy Anderson. This is The Restart Project. Elizabeth's story is about breaking the cycle of obesity, a story that in her family is generations in the making. All right, so welcome to Navitat. Thank you. I'm going to get you geared up. Go ahead and step into these two leg loops right here. Today I'm going to zip line. A zip line, are you kidding me? And so this is your first time zip lining, right? Yes. All right, awesome. And I can't even believe I get to say that because five years ago, that wasn't even an option. So Elizabeth, looking at you and your gorgeous fit body, I, I cannot fathom how you were once obese. Is that right? Not just obese, but morbidly obese. How much did you weigh, if you don't mind me asking? Well, um, when I weighed myself, it was 247 pounds. And you're five feet? Five three. Five three? Uh-huh. Wow. That was when I weighed myself, so okay. I had already lost weight. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I grew up in Beaumont, Texas. And growing up in the South, I was never taught to eat properly. I was raised on fried chicken, fried pork chops, fried everything. I was humongous, but I owned it, you know? <laughs> I was fabulous, I really was. I was from a long line of obesity. Right. So it was normal. I so mean, the culture was, this is just the way we are, right. we're fine with it. Right. right, and everybody is big and beautiful. Like, right. beautiful, big women, and that's what we do. So then, was there a particular thing that happened that made you think, I have to do something? My gallbladder was completely misshaped from um, all the gallstones, and they had to remove it. So that was my aha moment. My restart moment was when I found out that they had to remove a body part. It was very shameful, you know, because nobody forced you to eat that way. Nobody put a gun to your head and say, eat a bucket of chicken. You do that on your own. And at that moment, I just realized that I was actually killing myself with food. So you go in for the surgery. Mm -hmm. You have a kind of aha moment. Right. So how do you start? What did you do? What did you start to do? Well, when they weighed me on the day of the surgery, you know, it was really quiet and everybody was slumber. And you get on that scale and it's 247 pounds. So I cracked a joke and said, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. And we all laughed like, <laughs> but somehow it resonated with me. Wow. And I, I determined from that moment on that I will not do this again. I would not do myself harm. The cool thing about just out here too is, even though we're gonna be doing something kind of a little bit extreme, uh -huh. just walking through the forest, it's naturally gonna calm you down. Once I made the decision to become a healthier person, working out was no big deal. I love it. I love it. Giving up food was a whole another thing. You have the best job ever. I literally would sit in my room while everybody ate dinner and cry. This is amazing. It was very, very difficult, I'm telling you. I thought that I was gonna break the cycle, mm -hmm. seriously, and my daughter, um, she'll be 23 next month, she's uh, obese. Is and she? I cannot believe that she's going right down the path can you, you know, work out with her or do you educate her? And you do, but. My oldest daughter, Raylan, was with me when I was heavy. So she got all my bad eating habits. But she swears she's happy. And I remember being that way. The more people talked about me being fat, the more I said, forget you. I'm happy and I rebelled against it. So she's gonna rebel, but I wish that Raylan would see that she is going directly in the same path that I went. Yay. Oh my God, you guys. 
My daughter Raylan is here today and she knows I'm gonna love her big, I'm gonna love her small, but I wish that Raylan wanted to be healthy. You guys know how much of a struggle this was for me, for all of us actually, because we all went through it, we all had to make the change. And I want you to see that it was worth it. And I really would love if you could be healthy with me. I'm serious. I would definitely work out with you. Thanks, Mama. I'm very proud of you. Raylan O's mom is always there, and I will support her 100%. Love you. You know, sometimes children need to forage their own right. path. And do you know, I think that all of the work that you've done on yourself, it's going to get in there. You know, children swim in the sea of our subconscious. and We hope so, right? Absolutely. We hope so. And it, it will get in there, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this is it. <laughs> Mom, nice! Woo! I hope that Raylan will take away from this that she, too, can do anything that she chooses to do. You sure this can hold? Don't worry, our weight limit here is 250 pounds. <laughs> oh, you know what? I probably, I would, I totally wouldn't have been able to do it before. Jeez, Louise, five years ago, if you would have told me any of this, I would think that you were making fun of the poor fat girl. But today, there is nothing that I can't do. The sky is the limit. I feel incredible. I feel as though I have a new lease on life. Ah! Stepping off that platform today, let me know that I can accomplish anything. Christy's restart comes in two stages. The first, when she repairs herself, and the second, when she repairs her relationship with her children.